Can I help you? Yeah, I got a pair of Scottish percussion pistols, 1840s. So they're uh, called saw handle, because it looks like the handle of a saw. I bought them from uh, a little old lady that had all kinds of military stuff. She had guns and medals and clothing, and I was just intrigued by them, and I bought them from her. She loved military stuff, because she said she was always sweet on guys in uniform. <laughs> I'm not an expert on them, but I think the pistols are in above average condition for 175 years old. They were made by A. Henry of Edinburgh, and I thought that A. Henry might be associated with the guy that designed the Henry rifle, which is extremely rare and valuable. Hey, they look pretty cool. I've heard about these before. A. Henry Edinburgh. What do you know about him? I looked him up and I thought, could that be the same Henry from the Henry rifles? You know, I thought, ooh, -hoo! <laughs> okay, worth a fortune. but. I couldn't necessarily make a connection. I don't know much about them either, but how much are you looking to get? Uh, somewhere in the low 8,000 range. Okay. Um, I mean, they look in fair condition. There's a lot of wear on them, considering that this handle used to be nickel-plated at one time from what it looks like. You can still see a little bit down here. And the barrels they have rust and even pitting, and you got a dent right here. It's, well, it's a patina of age. I wouldn't call rust patina. You bought an old car with rust on it, would you call it patina? <laughs> it's a pretty thick barrel. I doubt that rust goes all the way through. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I don't know, and... No, I don't know either. I'm gonna have to call uh, my gun expert, Alex, down to see what he thinks. Okay. Hopefully you have enough time to hang out for a little while until sure. he gets here. That'd be great, thank you. I want Jim to call in an expert on the guns because it's difficult to get information on them. So I'm hoping that his answer will be close to my asking price. They're in pretty rough shape and they're old, but they seem like they might have some historical significance. So I called in Alex to help me figure out if I should buy them. Very nice. These are what we refer to as saw-handled pistols. What's interesting about these is the name on them. So that would be Alexander Henry, who had a shop in Edinburgh, Scotland. This is like the most famous gun maker during the Victorian era. So it looks like it's the same Henry. You were concerned about that. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's... I was hoping for that. So um, what kind of value do you put on these? Well, the condition of them really drags the value down. When these were made, this thing looked like a bar of silver. What brings the value back up is Alexander Henry's name. That's a nice pedigree for this. So at auction, the way they are today, five to 6,000. Okay, all right, well, that's what I needed to hear. All right, good luck, Bill. Thank you. So are you still interested in selling them? Depends what we negotiate on price. Well, how much would you like to get for them? Um, I'd probably settle for 42. Would you take 28 for him? No. No, that's, I mean, that's a giveaway price. 3,500 would be my bottom. And if you want to, we could gamble as Las Vegas, flip a coin and come with two different numbers, yours and mine. Fortunately, I live in Las Vegas, and I know better than to gamble. Um, I'll tell you what, I can do 33, but I can't go a dime higher. They're cool guns, I do want to get them, I want to make a deal with you. And I think I'm pushing it at 33, but I'm hoping that could work for all of us. 3350. Uh, I really What's $50 amongst new acquaintances? That's the same question I would ask you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's below what I was expecting to take, but I'll accept your deal on a handshake, <laughs> OK? All right, let's go over here and write them up. All right. I would have liked to walk away with uh, maybe in the 4,000 range, but based upon what I learned from the expert and Chum's negotiating skills, I took a little bit of a hit, but I'm still OK. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.